Okay, good. Mickey's willing to play. Let's go with Mickey. Do, have I read uh, Dostoevsky? No, I don't really read Russian, Russian lit. Yes, of course, I've heard about the infinite lever leverage glitch on Robin Hood. Everyone has by this point. Kaladin! Yes, Kaladin, of course. The Stormlight Archives. Fantastic stuff. I love that. Play Knight of 3. Knight D4. Those movies where at the end they kiss in, kiss in the airport, that sounds gross. Um, I don't really believe in Mickey. I think he's making up nonsense here. I can play Bishop G5. What is this? I mean, this is a weird position. I can play H3. I think I will just to fix the structure. Because now he moves the queen, I can just play A3. That's a free pawn. How do I take? Or do I play C4? I don't think I play C4. I can take with a knight. I think I just take with a bishop. Now I can take... Let's just take and play queen e3, hit the knight. If he goes queen c7, I have rook e1, and then he can't defend the pawn. Of course, there's a check coming up as well. Play rook e1. Take. Okay, so now once again, I'm up material. I'm doing very well. I think I'm going to play queen h6, hit the pawn, keep the queen on a nice square. Now I can also develop my bishop. It's the only piece that's not really on a great square. Okay, now I go bishop b3 and I'm pretty happy. Now I'm very happy with my position. c4, bishop e4, b3. Very solid. Um, maybe just rook e4. Eh. No, I feel like I'm misplaying this very slightly. Um, I guess let's go rook e2 and just double my rooks, king c2. Okay, now I'm going to try to open up the queen side a little bit. I'm still up a pawn doing well. Um, plays queen g5 to force an exchange. I don't know if I believe that this works. I'm going to go for the double up on the seventh. If takes, I just take, and then he loses both pawns unless I'm missing something. It's hard to believe that this four, okay. It's hard to believe that this is actually not winning for me. Really hard to believe. This must be winning with the with this three v two here in the center. Thank you, Castor X Polix, for the nine months. Obviously, I need to push my D pawn. Of course, now I run my king up. D5, D6, D7 is very hard for black to stop. Easy clap, easy clap, indeed. If the black king was on C7, would have been an easy win? I'm not sure. It'd still probably be winning, but not easily, no. Okay, now rook c8 and d6, d7, and he can't stop the pawn. Pawn's just going to go up the board. Or is it? I guess. Yeah, because I have king d5, yeah. And then and then I can push d7, because when he goes on around the back, he doesn't win the pawn. Because now I go d7, king e6. Now I take, you can't take with the knight because there's e5. Wait, if I take and play e5? 
Oh, we can take this way. Maybe bishop c5 and queen e7 makes sense. Definitely I'm going to play e5 or knight f8 here. Also play a5 or knight h5. No, this doesn't work. Let's play a5. And now I have to play knight h5. Oh no, he's got bishop c7. Oi, 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 oi. That would be a big oinker. Um, okay, I guess let's just play rook c8. I thought I had knight d5 here. Yeah, I think I do have knight d5 because I can take. Knight f6, e4, knight c7 looks fine. Or did I just blunder? No, bishop d7, I've got rook d8. I almost blundered here. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess. Think about how to do this. Rook a7. Oh, I, I did the blunder anyway. I, I saw it and then I just fought, fell into it anyway. But if he takes queen e7 and knight e8 or something, this is weird. I'm probably lost here somehow, but I don't see it right off. I'll pre-move king f7 in case he takes. Yes, so s. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. So, ah, song the queen. So stupid. Really careless. Okay, let's play bishop c4 and d3. This castle. The guy's playing total nonsense. Let's just play uh, c3, I have b4 here. Let's go a5. b5 is fine, knight b6 is good. Of course, he's just down a down pawn for nothing again. I just wonder, knight c3. I should have just taken and played f4, and I would have been just up a pawn for nothing. Thank you, gets 23 for the sub, for the two months. Thank you so much. One good thing here is he's got this pawn on b6, which is really, really weak. Now I can play knight d5 here. g3 looks completely reasonable too, just to support the pawn chain. And I just take. Looks like a free pawn, as usual. Let's see, I can play rook a3 to kick the bishop. I can also just drop my bishop back. But oh, now I gave him rook c4. Okay, he doesn't do it. Okay, um, let's play b6. Plays rook c6, that's a strange move, so I thought now I could play like rook d1 maybe. I can also take, but yeah, I think I can go rook d1 now. f3. Doesn't really concern me, just rook d2 and king f2. C1, of course. I can play h3, g4 at the right moment. There's rook c2. Might be hard to win the... Oh, geez. But now I can just take. He's got rook c1. Oh, no. I take, though. I take. If I 
take. Takes, let's see, so probably rook d4 must be right. Guess I'll put my bishop on... No, I'll play rook c4 to hit the bishop threat in this b7 concept. Guess bishop c3 and a5 looks reasonable. Try to try to push this pawn ahead to a6. Okay, now I guess rook c7. Thank you to Avram. Oh my gosh, I hung this pawn. What am I doing? Jeez, I'm just playing so badly right now. At least I've got this e6 idea, but... Thank you, Avram, for the three months. Okay, of course I have to go e6. F6. I'm so close to winning with this pass pawn, though. Now, I can't take because I take and make a queen and threatening bishop d6, so I think I'm finally winning again. Okay, resigns as expected. Let's go again. Taking a play knight d6. Takes, I just take and play knight f5. I mean, is this guy for real? He just wants to make a draw every game? Like, this is ridiculous. I can still trade and make a draw, but this guy just wants to draw every game with e4, d4. So, like, I don't even know why I'm playing this guy, honestly. In d4, he's making draws earlier. Now here in e4, he's trying to make a force draw the opening also. Like, this guy have like no inspiration in life or something? I mean, geez, what a joke. Play rookie eight, rookie five. Um, I'll play rookie five. You can take either pawn, but I, I, my goal is to play rookie h5. I've also got bishop a6 to hit the rook as well. Switch opponent, this is boring. I probably will, because, like, this is not actually fun for me. So it takes... Okay, so I have bishop a6. I've also got rook h5. I'll play rook h5 to hit the pawn first. And then I'm going to play bishop a6 or bishop h3 to hit the rook. And win the bishop on d8. Okay, now what am I missing? Bishop a6. I mean, I think his bishop is just good knight. Wow, okay. Hey, rook d6. Doesn't really do much for white. Just bishop b7. Maybe just c5, bishop f6 coming. Really nice position. Um, he's got some knight b5 nonsense I should be careful of. Let's go king e7. Hmm. Okay, now I take and just play c4, and if I can't win this, well, then I shouldn't be playing chess. Nepo's not accepting challenges, you guys, or I would play Nepo. I think I just go King G8, F3, King H7. I just Bishop H1 and I can take the pawn. H2 should be winning now because I can just take the pawn. Uh, Bishop D1 and takes, and this is winning.
It's actually mildly insulting that the guy's not resigning, to be honest. Thank you, DB. Try to game for the 100 bits. Thank you, White Noise, for the 300 bits as well. Much appreciated. Yeah, I don't know why this guy wouldn't resign. Play E4, Knight C3. Castle? Lots of biddies, right? Lots of biddies. Plays the E5. Not a move that I really can understand, but it is what it is. I'll play B3 just to stop C4. No D5s here. Wow. Okay, this looks insane as well. Just G3. Uh, thank you, Chess Bay, for giving a sub to White Noise. Much appreciated. Thank you so much to the one and only, the legend herself, Chess Bay. Uh, I think I take on e5 here and play rook f5. Oh, I blunder bishop h4. Jeez. He missed it. He had bishop h4 and he was just winning. There's f6. Um... I think I'll play bishop d2. I could have played bishop f4, but I figure I want more pieces on the board when I go for the attack here on the king's side. Maybe queen h4 to play... Maybe queen e2 is better because, yeah, he's he gets some nasty queen g7 nonsense. Best friend. Now, if I play knight f4, rook g4... I play bishop f4, queen g7. I don't see it. Queen g7, I can actually just take because rook g1, I take and I cover g2. Okay, now here I can take. I don't see it. Because he can't go rook g1 once I take. If he takes, I go rook f7. If he takes, I take. I think it works. If it doesn't work, so be it. Wow, okay. Mm. Uh, rook f7, he wants rook g1. I knew there was some reason he was playing like this. It's a little bit weird, but... Okay, so now we cut the g-file. We play for rook f7 again. Um, yeah, I guess rook h5. Rook f7 is still a big threat here. His knight is bad. He's got a terrible pawn structure. Now, he's begging me to play knight f5, and I cannot refuse the offer. So let's go queen h3. Support the knight, support the rook, allow rook g1 ideas now. And this is good knight as well. Plays e4, I guess I'll just play e6. I mean, obviously I'm going to play for c5 at some point. I guess I'll play h6, force him to trade. Gonna play c5 next move for sure. Of course I'll go c5. I guess trade. I think just knight c6 ending. Oh, I gave knight b5 here. But I can still just take and go king f8 or something. Um, and also play rook b8. Um, hmm. I think I should just wreck his pawn structure first. It makes the most sense to me. Just rook b8, hit the pawn. I can always cast if I need to. When I've, I've got rook b4, but I think I'll just castle here. Keep it really, really chill. Now rook b4, d4 is a huge threat. Um... Uh, King g7. h7 looked a little bit iffy because there's probably some bishop d3 trick. I could have also probably just played rook b4. 
What am I missing now, though? Okay, show me the money, my friend. Show me the money. If you have it, show show me. Okay, resigns. We go again. Thank you, DP. Try to game for the hundred. Show me the money. Which one do you think is more of a hustler sport, poker or chess? Um, I think I, hustler. I think it's easier to hustle in um in a. Uh, in chess than it is in poker. So probably I would say chess actually. Gonna actually three knight of five, I guess some idea. Probably 92 C3. What? What is Bishop H6? Thank you, Dirk. Dirk at 99 for the 100 bits. Like. This dude, what is wrong with him? Weird stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, thank you, White Noise, for the bits as well, I believe it was. I think Rook A6 and Bishop A6 is correct. Now, I can trade or play Bishop E7. Bishop E7 is correct. I'm just... Again, I keep pressure on the pawn on d4. Let's just castle. I can still play queen d5. I really want the knight on d5, but maybe I'll just play queen b8 and rook b8. Now I've got these ideas. Also, I've got bishop b5 after queen a4 because the queen covers a square. So I think I'll start with rook d8 to put pressure on the pawn and then bishop b5 next. It goes queen f4, so obviously I have to play knight d5. Take and play queen b2. I mean, I'm trying to judge, does he have actual threats here on the queen, king side? I don't really think he does, so I'm going to play knight before knight d3 to cut the whole board in half. Yeah, I can play h6. The question is, is, does he have a threat here? Do I need to provoke him and kick him back? And yeah, I think I should just kick him back. I don't know if he's going knight h3. He can take, but I just take and go back. Okay, but like, huh. Oh, he's got this idea with bishop h6. I didn't even see this idea. Oh, this is a slight problem, maybe. So if I play c3, he takes and I go bishop f8, then what's going on? Then he's got knight f6, takes, takes rook d7. Um, whatever, let's go for it, who cares? Because I have rook d7, that's the whole point here. Okay, so he's got, oh, he's got queen f7. Uh, sh wait, but if I, what's going on? Wait, if I take? Let's think about this for a second. I can play bishop d3 here. Let's see, if I take here knight g5, d3, queen f7, king e8, queen e6, king h8, nice. That's a draw. I don't really want to give him a draw here, but how do I avoid giving him a draw? I don't know if I can. I'll try something. It might not work, but I'll try it. Scary position, I'm up a piece, and I think at best he's got a draw, like at best. Because knight g5, I think I actually can take. See, so if I. Okay, so I can take and take or whatever, and he has a draw of knight f7, knight g5. But let's go for it. 
Because I don't see it after King H7. I just don't see it. So once again, it's a spot where, you know, if the dude has it, I say it again. Show me the money. Because I don't see it. Bishop covers h6. This bishop covers g6. He takes his whole attack, evaporates in a second. It's like having King King show me the ace ace. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so he takes here, so I can't take obviously because I get mated in two. I can play rook e8, I can also just take. I mean, this feels a little bit iffy, but I'm going to just take it anyway. I mean, because right now I'm up, what am I up? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uno, dos. I'm up, I'm up two pieces here. I mean, again, he can show me the money and he can win, or he can just, like, lose on the spot, pretty much. Um, I think I can check and play knight f4 here as well. He doesn't have the money, basically. No, I just take. Queen h8, just king g6, and bishop g7. What? Wait, he's trying to go for 90. Wow, this is insane. Okay, yeah, somebody just played bishop g7. But I mean, this is just losing. Takes and I have bishop b5. But th okay, this just loses. Going for a blitz record, I'm just having fun playing blitz. Chess is fun sometimes. Guess I'll go to g3. I can go to h2 also. Hmm. Guess I'll play bishop f2. If he goes bishop f5, I'm probably going to play g4 here. Maybe bishop h4 is an idea as well. Um... Whatever, let's just attack. Attack when in doubt, attack. Attack, 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 and hack. Is he trying to play f6? Maybe. Let's go queen f3. Plays f6, so now I'll go knight d3. Just f5, of course, to kick the knight back. Now I'm gonna try to activate this knight through the other other path to e6. He's a jumbo hole here on e6 that he has to deal with. And knight b6, I mean, is he trying to say that he'll get knight c4? I mean, I'll just play b3, because I can just take with the... Okay, I don't know what that does. Let's play a4. Hmm. This isn't really how I wanted to play it, but I'm st I still should be slightly better, I would think. His knights are not good. Wait. Isn't there a blunder? Blunder time. Okay, now I just take. Knight of four, a five. Nah, this is no good, my friend. This is no good. They're just not going to get it done. Okay, let's play d5. Because b4, c5, knight d7, of course. Uh, he plays knight c4. I'm going to just play a5 and bishop e7. Now I play knight c5 and knight c5, of course. Now if he trades, okay, goes knight d4. Um, I can put the knight on e4. I can put the knight on d5 as well. I can also just move my queen somewhere. Not fish basics. I guess I'll play rook c8 here. Maybe bishop a6 makes sense now. Plays knight e5. So of course I can trade. I, think I should trade and play like maybe. This is a weird position. I can play queen b6. I can also play queen d5. Queen d5 and knight d7 probably is safest here. 
Um, maybe I misplayed this. Eh. Everything is protected. I somehow misevaluated this. So let's play knight f d7. Knight a5. I can play knight a4. Or actually, I can play e5 and bishop f6. Plays rook d1. Guess I'll play queen a8. Why not? Support the pawn now. Queen e4 is probably good here. Try to trade the queens. He's got this weakness that he has to deal with on b3. Uh, let's just go e5 takes knight b3. She ate. I can also play like bishop b6, but my king side is not ideal for bishop b6. But I think I'll do it anyway and I'll just take with the knight. Probably just g6. Again, I don't want to give him some queen c8 with knight f5 combo here. So g6 prevents that. I also create the escape square for my king. What is f3? Very aggressively uh, dangerous. Play knight d7 creates a big weakness here for no reason. He also can never play e4. Qua? Now I've got knight c5 here. And also take. I can also play b3. Let's play knight c5. Just takes. Two connected. B3, B2. All right, you guys. 9-1 to one against Mickey Tarion. That feels like a very good spot to stop against him. So, um... Who else is online? Jospam? A little bit low rated. Let's see if anybody wants to play some Bullet. I'll play Mickey Tarion at Bullet, maybe. 